Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm coming to you from what has now become my favorite section of the store, the produce section. One of the things I like about this time of year especially is look at all these beautiful colors. These peppers, the fruits are all amazing. This is what it's all about, good quality food. So if you're wondering, how do you get started? How do you make that move to plant-based? It's a gradual process. I've thought about it for years. I think the first time I even tried like a vegan meal was almost 20 like, years you know, ago. I kept making excuses. I had everything from, I bought a Traeger barbecue, you know, I don't want that money to go to waste. I started adding more and more plant-based meals. Then I got to the point where I eliminated the fleshy meats. It's my third, no, fourth week now of being 100% plant-based. And the difference in the way I feel, the level of pain I have, and the increased energy is off the charts, y'all. There's a lot of misconceptions and stereotypes that go, only white people eat vegan food. That's the biggest, stupidest crock of shit I ever heard in my life. Truth of the matter is, if you look back at our African ancestors, you will see that most of the diets consisted of vegetables, fruits, and grain. One of the other big misconceptions I frequently hear is that the, the uh, vegan or plant-based diet doesn't provide all the nutrition that you need. And I don't know where people really get that from. Uh, if you really think about it and break it down, you can find bad foods that will be lacking in every type of diet that there is. Bottom line is it's all about the choices that you decide to make and what you put in your body. So for me, I like to consider myself plant-based. So the most frequently asked question I get since I switched over to a plant-based vegan lifestyle is, what exactly do you eat? Well, the answer is a lot of quality, good, healthy food that tastes great. So I'm gonna give you a few examples here. So I'm about to make some steel cut oatmeal. Now, what I wanna add to the steel cut oatmeal to get my macronutrients down is uh, three tablespoons of these hemp seeds, which will add about 10 grams of protein a scoop of this vanilla um, organic pea powder, which I add another 10 grams. Then I have these nuts here, which I add some more. I got my organic blueberries and I'll sweeten it with this blue aguave, 100% pure organic. Now, the macro breakdown of this is incredible. I have about 38 grams of protein total in this meal here. I have 54 grams of carbohydrates and I'm keeping my fat grams at under 20. I think it checks in at about 18. So that's how easy it is. It All right, here's the finished product, y'all. So here's another option if you want a salad. Uh, I've got lots of greens on here, about two and a half cups of greens. I added some lentils here to get a lot of good quality protein as well as some carbohydrates. Add about half of this avocado, got some blueberries, and of course, again, some hemp seeds. So high protein, decent carbohydrates, lots of good fiber, healthy fats right here. Another one of my favorite plant-based options is my black bean burrito with black beans, brown rice, sauteed peppers and onions, avocado, vegan cheese, and salsa. All right, so I'm back home now after my physical therapy and they thoroughly kicked my butt today. So it's all about recovery. So what I'm gonna do now is make my smoothie. And what I have here, this is all 100% plant-based. I have a mass gainer. Yes, a vegan-friendly mass gainer. Three simple ingredients, naked rice protein, naked um, pea protein, as well as malodextrin. And then I have a banana, orange, and some mango with some spinach and a little bit of pea protein powder in here. And there you go, 100% plant-based smoothie for after workout. So I want you to keep this in mind. During the holiday season, the average person picks up somewhere between seven and 12 pounds. Most of that comes in the form of body fat. So as many of you do, when you come to the new year, I know you're looking to make those resolutions and make a change in your lifestyle. You might want to try incorporating more whole foods in your diet. Now, whether or not you want to go strictly plant-based, that's up to you. Do your own research. It's what works for me and I love it 100%.